be beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot. I be beaming. Life will come at you fast. And one thing I can promise you is that some days will just be better than others. And on those not so good days, take a deep breath. Do your best to smile. Take time out to surround yourself with the people that you love. Shift your focus to the things that make you happy. You only have one life to live. Be good to yourself. And if you like this hoodie, go ahead and tap the Teespring link that's right below the video. It'll take you to the store where you'll see all the other colors that are available. There's also a mug if you're interested in that. GP fam, I appreciate y'all for everything that y'all been and done for me. Let's get into the video. What is the deal, my good people? Welcome back to the channel. Happy Thursday. I hope you all are doing well. If this is your first time at the channel, I want to welcome you here. Pull up a seat. I hope you enjoy the content. And before we get into the food, I want to ask that you like, comment, share, subscribe. Go ahead and tap that bell while you're at it so you're notified anytime I go live, schedule a premiere, or drop a brand new video. All right, so now that we got that out the way, let's get into this food. I'm feeling real good, y'all, today. Today is a very special day. All right, so what I have are some lobster tails. I have some white rice with some squash and zucchini on top of it, also with some sauteed onions. And I had to do all of this yummy, yummy goodness so that I could for sure dip in this dip and Dash Butter Sauce by Dame, by Flavors by Dame Dash. I'm gonna make sure I put his link below for any of you guys that are interested in his sauce and also following his channel if you're not doing so already. Let me come this, bring this a little bit closer for y'all so y'all can see it. Ah, I'm about to put this sauce on everything. Everything is getting sauce. It's a sauced up kind of day, y'all, for real. I'm super excited, you guys, because today is my grandmother's birthday, and I'm just in a really good mood. I feel her energy. I feel her love. I'm not sad. You know, like, I just felt so good when I woke up this morning. And, uh, yeah, so I decided so many things happened today that we'll get into that, you know, talk about my grandma. That's all I'm talking about is my grandma today. And just a couple other things as well, so... How are y'all doing today? We almost at Friday. I know a lot of us are excited about that. Mm. Let me start off with the very first thing you saw before this would have been like a little bit of a promo that I did for these hoodies that I have and I have one on today. Y'all, these came in today. They were supposed to come in in two days, but they came in today on my grandmother's birthday. So it was meant to be. Let me move this food out the way real quick. All right, let me move the food out the way real quick so I can show y'all the hoodie. The be good to yourself hoodie, y'all. Ah, I'm super excited about these. Um, so like I said, there was a promo before the video started. Just to let y'all know that the hoodies were available. Um, and you can tap this link right below the video. You'll see a picture of, the, it's a red hoodie. Click on it. It'll take you to the store where you can see all the other options that are available. And, uh, you know, go ahead and get yourself a hoodie. Be good to yourself, hoodie. Which is also kind of special to you guys because my grandma is the reason why I even say be good to be, be, be good to yourself. She's the reason why I say it. Um, and I will get into that in just a second. Let me go. Oh, did y'all see all that sauce going on here? Woo wee. This rice is hot. Mmm. His sauce is so good. It's that sweet heat. It's that sweet heat that gets you. Y'all don't mind me. You know, this noise I'm making. Mm. Dang, this is good. How many of y'all have tried damn sauce? Whether you've made it, whether you've bought it. How many of y'all have had it? Mm. Like I said, today is all about my grandmother. My grandmother passed in 2014, so it's been six years. Going on, so this year will make six years that she passed away in November. But like I said, I woke up super excited in a good mood. I had no idea I was going to get my hoodies today. They came in, and I was like, look at this. It's just meant to be. I could wear my hoodie on my grandmother's birthday. I don't know how hype I am about it. I'm so excited. My grandma was a huge inspiration in my life. Like, I just want to make her proud. That has always been my goal. And I know that I'm making her proud. I know that I am. So, I know she watching over me for sure. Watching over all of us. Mm. 
Lobster was cooked perfectly. <clears throat> so good. I think today is also going to be my first time doing a premiere. So, I can watch this video with y'all. And also, shout out to Ashley's Couch. I was watching one of her videos, a cooking video she had on her channel. And she made rice with zucchini and the squash and onions and tomatoes. So that inspired me to do it. If you want to see how to make, how she made hers, hers was, had a little more going on than mine does. But if you want to see how to make it, I'm going to drop the link below. It's a very simple meal, healthy. So I'll drop that below. This sauce, y'all. Mmm. I love eating lobster with the sauce. Lobster and shrimp. So let me tell you about my grandma. My grandma is a Capricorn, as you know. It's Capricorn season. Shout out to all the Capricorns. And I just love everything about her. Like, <laughs> my grandma woke up extra early in the morning. It was still dark outside. She'd work up like 5 in the morning, every morning. Get up and be on that phone all day, y'all. I'm sure a lot of y'all grandparents are like that, too. Or not, I don't know. Well, a lot of grandmas that I know just be on that phone all day. So my grandma be on that phone, tearing it up all day. Y'all, she would just wake up on that phone, be clicking over all fast and getting you off the phone all fast, rushing you off. Like, Let me call you back. Let me call you back. You know, I just miss her voice. I really do. She would always be doing crossword puzzles all the time, no matter what. Laser focus on the crossword puzzles, y'all. And my grandma, she was like the best storyteller. Like, she really was. Like, I would feel like that I was right there with her. I felt like I knew what the weather was like, what it smelled like, what she had on. She was from Jackson, Mississippi. And I just felt like I got a good feel for how she grew up, you know, because of the story she told. And as I kind of think about it, I don't know, like, maybe I um kind of got my storytelling from her. You know, I, I, I didn't feel like I was that good at storytelling. But you guys have definitely helped me get better at it. And speaking of which, this is a perfect segue. Shout out to Tasha. She let that word segue. This is a perfect segue into um, story time is coming back tomorrow, y'all. Story time is back. I hope y'all are excited about that. I'm going to tell y'all about me moving out of my parents' house when I was 21. What led up to it, the, thing, the events that led up to it, the things I got myself into. And I had to roll up out. And I, it was a very sudden thing. So y'all stay tuned for that. I think I can give y'all probably about... Mm, three and four installments to that so y'all stay tuned for story time tomorrow all right but anyway y'all my grandma had the coolest nickname everybody called her shimmy yes shimmy like the dance yes everybody called her shimmy i love that nickname like it just it was so fitting it wasn't like she was somebody who danced all the time because she wasn't I don't even know how she got the nickname. I need to find that out. If any of my family is watching, y'all tell me. Ask my mama. See if she even know. But everybody would call her Shimmy. So she had the coolest nickname. Uh, my grandma was also known for her pies, y'all. She had million dollar pies in terms of she would make peach cobbler or sweet potato pie. And when I tell you, baby, them pies, wasn't well, nobody touching my grandma's pies. And I mean that. And I'm a very honest person. I'm not being biased or anything. Her pies were fire. I promise you they were. Every single holiday season, my grandma be kicking and screaming about how she ain't making nobody no pie and easily whip up 50 pies. Kitchen be full of pies. You just smell all that yummy goodness in her house as soon as you walk in. She always talked that smack about how she wasn't going to make them pies. I miss them pies. I really do. My mom, my mom been out here trying to perfect the uh, peach cobbler and... and Sweet potato pie. She's not doing bad. She on her heels. She is not doing bad. So she is channeling her mom for sure. And y'all know, since my grandma passed away, I've, got, I've become a better cook. Like, I've become better in the kitchen. I don't know if I've just become more in tune with things or what, but I feel like I've become a better cook over the years since she passed away. Or it's like a gift that she left behind for me or something. And I'll be honest with y'all, it wasn't like I was in the kitchen 
you know, with her when she was cooking, even though I should have been. But I feel like I'm just channeling her a lot when I when I start cooking and trying different things. I feel like my food ends up being good because my grandma is right there with me. That's really how I feel. For real. So, I don't know. And it's like, you know what? Y'all know I call myself a flexitarian. But if my grandma was here, I could probably almost bet y'all 100%. I could bet it 100% for sure that I would be flexing and eating her fried chicken. Her fried chicken was to die for. I can see that cast iron skillet right now. I can see that chicken just golden brown. Mm, the hot sauce. Mm -mm -mm. She put her foot in that chicken every single time she made it. She really did. And that's how you felt my grandmother's love too. Like you would feel that extra love the way she cooked all her food. Cause all of her food was good, but you know, I'm just I'm pointing out the chicken. The chicken was, was fire. But everything she made was good. But you would feel that she loved and cared about you. Whenever she made you a plate, always made sure you ate. Always made sure you was good. Like I miss my grandma. I really do. I miss that. I miss her smile. I miss her laugh. Such a good person, just <laughs> feisty. She would be feisty about some things, I'm not gonna lie, but just a really good person, you know? And it's like, it's it's crazy because, you know, I, I remember I used to be like, growing up, like I was like, dang, I could never imagine my life without my grandmother. I could never imagine it, you know? And I was what, 32, 33 when she passed away. And I was heartbroken, I was. I didn't think I was gonna make it, y'all. So to even be able to sit up and do a video where I'm talking about her and I'm able to keep it together and I'm in good spirits. That's how I know grief counseling worked. I did go to grief counseling when my grandmother passed away because I needed it. I was falling apart at the seams, y'all. I really was. Like, I just, this world just didn't feel right without my grandma in it, you know? But now I'm grateful that I can truly just look back and reflect on her memories and just everything she did for all of us and just the presence that she had about her, you know, the love she had inside of her heart. So, today's been a bomb day. It really has. You know, I'm grateful that she lived as long as she did. I'm grateful that she made the decisions that she made because obviously certain things, if she don't do certain things, I wouldn't be here, you know. So I'm just grateful for her life. I really am. So today is just a celebration. Like, I'm super excited about my grandma. You know, like I said, I woke up this morning. I feel like I got an extra glow right now. My hoodies came in. I got my, my dang dash dipping butter sauce yesterday like everything was just i don't know everything was just kind of like around her birthday just kind of just working out you know what i'm saying so it's been a really good day you guys and i'm super excited i wish my grandma was here but i know that she's watching and i know that she's proud and um that's what means the world to me it really does and i'm gonna go ahead and touch on how she inspired be good to yourself excuse me my grandmother for the last 30 days of her life was in the hospital and we kind of felt that she was pretty much dying, you know what I mean? And we felt it coming. It's like you want to be in denial, but, you know, some things just, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, you know it. And my grandmother couldn't talk. She could not talk for a good chunk of that time. And one day she was in the hospital bed. And out of nowhere, she just started talking. And we all rushed into the, you know, the short rooms to her bedside. Because some of us were in the lobby. Ran out to get whoever wasn't in there. Cause we wanted to hear whatever she had to say and my grandma just basically was just making us promise that we would do whatever it took to have a good quality of life and take care of ourselves so that we didn't end up in the hospital and be sick and things like that and have to worry about all these different things um which to me i took that as to be good to myself be, be good to yourself Rhonda. and that's where the saying comes from so it's rooted in my grandmother and that's why it means everything to me that I could put it on a hoodie and that I could share it with y'all. Like, that literally means everything to me. It has my grandmother all around it. And I don't know. It's just super special. So that's why it really means a lot to me. That not only did the hoodies come in today, that I'm able to wear it today and just share it. You know what I'm saying? That really be my signature saying at the end of every video. It's like a dedication to my grandmother every single time. And then also... The dedication is me actually going out and being good to myself, you know, actually making good on what I promised her. So those were some of her last words. And that was my last promise to my grandmother. So that's where it comes from. And that's why it's really special to me. And that's why I promise to say it in every single video that I do. So I don't know, y'all. 
today just been a bomb day. It really has. And I know it's going to continue to be a great day. I've been productive. I've been happy. I have just, like I said, been in a great mood. And, like, nothing is bothering me. Um, and that feels great. I want to carry this feeling on into the rest of this week, into the rest of this year. You know, the energy that I'm feeling right now. So, I know that that's not realistic, but I can definitely hope for it and do my best to achieve that, right? So, thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all for tuning in with this premiere, for y'all checking out this video. And y'all just riding with me. You know, I'll be back tomorrow. Story time tomorrow, for real. Y'all be kicking off tomorrow. Um... Yeah, I'm going to let y'all in on a couple things on, that I did. You know, Rhonda has been up to some things, you know, when I was younger. So, enjoy the rest of the day, y'all. Friday is almost here. All I ask you to do is be good to yourself. Peace. I be beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know.